Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your WP Mail SMTP with Cloudways and uh, through with a, a Rackspace, uh, a service that is provided with Cloudways. So I need to do this essentially, just laying out the land here, because I created a print on demand store on my website, it's a Shopify shop. But when I did test purchases, no email came in. And that's how I knew that there was a problem with WP. Uh, the mailing SMTP provider, the default one, because no order purchase confirmation emails were coming out, which is a big deal. So what I did was I um, created an account. So what you'd have to do is go to your Cloudways account. You'll go to add-ons. You'll add Rackspace. You'll create an account. Um, it's really easy and quick. It's like a dollar per email box a month. I click click on add mailbox, add a new email address, and add a new password. I believe the end of the email pa address, like the at something.com, has to be your email address. I, I think there's a way to configure that, but I don't recall. Uh, but either way, if you have that already, you know, just recall your email or rather commit to memory the email and your password um, because you're going to need that later, but that's all you'll need. After you have this mailbox on Rackspace, that's all you need. So now we'll go over to uh, WP Mail uh, SMTP or whatever. And if you don't know how to do that, you just go to plug in, you go to add new, just like this, and then you'll type in uh, WP SMTP, just like that. And then you'll see the first thing that pops up, you'll click install now, and then you'll click activate and that's it. And then when you do that, you will be, it will be right over here. Where'd it go? S -M Come on, I'll see here. I'm a little blind. SMTP. Um, and then all you got to do is configure almost nothing. I mean, it's really simple. Just add the support, add the address that you added as your mailbox. You could use an alias for this, um, but I want to keep things simple and just use the mailbox address that we just created. Um, then you will add your from name. That could be anything you want. And then go to other SMTP. Now what you'll do is you will choose, uh, and this is, the, so this information I had no idea how to get. And what did I do? I just used ChatGPT for it. Um, I, I told it my whole scenario, the problem I was having, and then I told it what systems I'm using, and it said, oh yeah, just do this. So secure mail server is what you'll put in here. SSL is what you'll put in here. Um, and then for SSL, it's 465, the port. Uh, and then I think these were all automatically log, um, toggled. And then you'll put the actual email address that you'll use to to log into your mailbox that you just created, and then the password that you just used uh, in your mailbox. And if you don't know, you can click on that little button right there and it'll show you that. And then just click Save Settings, and that's kind of it. Now to, to test this, you can go to Tools, and then you can go to Send a Test Email. Now you can send that to wherever you want, click Send Email, and that's how you'll know if you're actually getting a successful. And this thing, I didn't bother with this. This is just an additional security layer for your email requirements, but it's not necessary because it worked without it. I, in the future, I do intend to take my emails a little bit more seriously, and I'm probably gonna do this. But for right now, I just want to do that. And I think I just got that test email right now. I heard the little ping, but my notifications aren't turned on, so you won't see it. Um, and I did confirm with another test e test purchase if this worked properly, even it wasn't just the test email that worked. And yes, it did work properly. So I made multiple test purchases uh, earlier that did not work. And then I did this method and now the test purchases actually did work. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you in any way, please hit the like and the subscribe so other people can see this video. And if you like that, I didn't waste your time and just got straight to it, uh, you know, hit, hit the like, share the button, you know what to do. All right, I'll see ya.